Let's begin solving this question by reading the opening statement. The population of a community is known to increase at a rate that is proportional to the number of people present at time t. That is a statement that we can translate into a nice and easy differential equation. So what it's saying is that the rate of change in the population, so dp dt, is going to equal a proportionality constant simply multiplied by the population at any given time. Please note that p will be equivalent to p of t. So p represents the population at a particular moment in time. This is a separable differential equation, which basically means that we can gather the variable p on the left side and the variable t on the right side. So for example, you would multiply both sides of the equation by dt, which cancels it out on the left side, and then you can also divide both sides by p canceling it on the right side. So now you've separated your variables. You have dp over p on the left side, and on the right side you have k multiplied by dt. Now, our goal is to solve this for the population, for p. To do that, we simply integrate both sides of this equation after we have separated the variables. You may recall from a calculus course that the left side integral will become the natural log of the absolute value of p, and on the right side, when you're integrating a constant with respect to the variable t, you end up with k multiplied by t plus an arbitrary constant. And we'll be solving for that momentarily. And the next thing we want to do to solve for p is raise e to both sides of the equation. And essentially what happens is e and the natural log, because they're inverse functions, cancel each other out. So now we simply have isolated p. On the right side, we have e to the power of kt plus that arbitrary constant. We would like an expression for that c, and to do that, we're going to rewrite the right-hand side. Now, please recall from a pre-calculus course that if you have, let's say, e to the power of a multiplied by e to the power of b, that can be written as e to the power of a plus b. You're simply adding the exponents. But that rule works in reverse, of course. We can actually take e to the power of a plus b and separate it into e to the power of a times e to the power of b. And that's what we're going to do on the right-hand side. We'll have e to the power of kt multiplied by e to the power of c. Now, we know that the initial population at time 0 could be represented by the symbol p naught. So what we'll do is we'll rewrite the left side so that it's p of t. And then we're going to plug in 0 for time. Now, of course, you're going to end up with e to the power of 0 on the right side times e to the power of that arbitrary constant. As noted a moment ago, this p of 0 can be symbolized by the initial population, p naught. 1 is e to the power of 0, and then times e to the c. So we can see that this e to the c is simply the initial population, p naught. So you're going to go back to this equation right here, and this e to the power of c can be substituted with p naught. So we went ahead and made that substitution. Let's just kind of switch the order on the right-hand side so that we have p naught times e to the kt. And this is the final solution of the original differential equation. Our next goal is to solve for the value of k. And to do that, let's go back and look at the question. We note that the initial population doubled in five years. So symbolically, we could say that p of 5 is equal to twice the initial population. So back into our equation, we would plug 5 in for t. So we're going to end up in the exponent with, you could say k times 5, but it might look nicer if we just said 5k. And then this p of 5 is equal to twice the initial population. Now look at that equation, and you'll notice p naught appears on both sides. So you could divide both sides by p naught to cancel it out. And now we're going to solve for k by taking the natural log of both sides. On the right-hand side, we can use some logarithm properties to bring that 5k down which is multiplied by the natural log of e. Now, the natural log of e is just 1, so really you're just left with 5k on the right side. And then finally, divide both sides 
by 5, and you have the value of k. Good, but we still haven't answered the question, so let's go back and check it out. The question really wants us to figure out how long it takes to triple the population. Now, tripling the population, of course, means that your p of t is going to equal three times the initial population. We don't know the value of t, that's what we're going to look for, but tripling the population means that p of t is equal to three times p naught. So going back to our solution, to our differential equation, we've plugged the value of k in right there. And for this p of t, we shall plug in 3 times the initial population. Now you're already starting to see what's happening here. You've got the p naught on both sides of the equation, so you would divide both sides by it to cancel it out. And now we're getting very close to solving for the time required to triple the population. Take the natural log on both sides. You can bring this exponent down. You'll be multiplying that by the natural log of e, which is just 1. And then to solve for t, just divide both sides of this equation by the ln of 2 over 5. And then let's grab our calculators to see what that roughly equals. You should get approximately 7.9 years. And so that is the answer for the first question, the time required to triple the population. We go back and look at the second part of the question, and it's very similar. We just want to quadruple the population. So, of course, quadrupling the population would mean that p of t is equal to 4 times p naught. So we're going to kind of walk through the same process again. Let's grab our solution to our differential equation. For p of t, we will substitute in 4 times the initial population could probably pause the video here and try to solve for t on your own. Same process, you'll cancel out the p naughts, you'll take the natural log of both sides, and then you'll divide both sides by that ln2 over 5. Let's reach for our calculators one more time to see what this equals. And this one's pretty nifty because it exactly equals 10 years. So that would be the time required to quadruple the population in this case.